Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I have an addiction of buying things on Amazon. Give me a credit card and let me lease on Amazon, and I get into debt pretty quick. But I bought another computer, and this time I'll show you what it is. Just a moment. Amazon.com is dangerous. Alright, so this is a laptop. It is a MacBook Pro 13 inch. Which I guess you weren't surprised because I probably labeled the video MacBook Pro 13 inch. <laughs> but I'm doing some upgrades so on the Amazon site, you can't really customize it. You can go to the Apple site and like add more RAM or get an SSD drive, but they charge outrageous prices. So I got eight gigabytes of memory, and it is a Corsair CMS08 GX3 and blah blah blah. I'll put links for the stuff in the description. And and this knife is a Schrade Extreme Survival Knife. People have asked about it before. And I got, this is the same hard drive that I put in my um, main desktop system. And I will show some more videos of my desktop system. I just really haven't had the time to do it. I did build the whole thing like on a live stream, but if you missed out on that, then i will just have to wait until I can edit the videos because it was long. It took me hours to have to edit it down or just make another video or whatever. But this is a, a Corsair Force GT and these are fast drives. I've been really happy with the performance. I put two of these in a RAID 0 in my desktop system and it is fast. So I'm going to put both of these into the MacBook Pro. Let me open this up. Oh man, you can say what you want about Apple, but they make some beautiful stuff. So beautiful. And in the box, we got wires, power adapter, stuck in there. And then what was this? Hopefully there's an OS installation CD. That would be nice because I'm going to have to reinstall my OS. Um, there's a cloth and there's a... Hello. Hello. And I don't know if this video is cutting my head off. Probably. But this video is... So, I'm going to have to get the OS disc from somewhere else. It does not look like one is included in the box, which kind of sucks. Uh, trying to see if it... Well, not in the box. I'll worry about that later. That is not important right now. You're going to have to get the OS disk if you don't already have one. I think this one came with Snow Leopard, so I need to get Lion anyway. It's pretty. And I like to have, like, I'm mainly a PC person, but Macs are very pretty. <laughs> and I like to just stay in touch with the Mac OS as much as I can, just so I'm not completely out of the loop, even though I'm not really good on a Mac. There it is. Looks very nice. So, now put this phone tied down. The work we're going to be doing is on the underbelly. And there's very, very small screws. Very small. You'll need to have a special screwdriver kit to be able to get the screws out. And I have like super duper small screwdrivers. 
So this one looks like it's small enough. Yep. And I don't know where I got this. Probably got it at like Home Depot or something. I'm gonna take all these screws out. And keep a close eye on where you put them because they are so small. Blink your eye and they're gone. I'm going to do super fast mode. Ah! Okay, I'll just note that this one is a, a long screw. Came out of the... I guess that's towards the back. So keep the long screws separate. And it's by the, the label where the serial number's at. So there's all the screws out. Just pry up my fingernail. Let's put off the side. And there's there's the guts. Hello guts. So first, we'll take the screws off of the hard drive case. So there's two screws right here. A little bracket that holds. Holds it in like that. And two screws on the other side. And pull up on the hard drive. And it's got a little connector. And there's the original hard drive has the OS on it. So I'm not going to have an OS. Oh, and there's little uh, little nubs on the hard drive. You got to take these little nubs off and put them on the new hard drive. That's the technical term. Screw nubs. And it looks like they're a special star type screw. I happen to have them here. Alright, so got all the nubs off. And this was a 320 gigabyte disk that I'll probably just put in like an external enclosure and use it as an external hard drive. Now we'll put the screws in the new hard drive. Alright, all the nubs are attached. I'll reattach the connector. Stick it back in there. There's little nub holes, you can see them. Stick that back in there. Bracket back on. And the hard drive has been upgraded to a 120 gigabyte Corsair. Now we're going to do the memory. Be careful. So memory is right there, and there's two little nubs pulled to the side. The memory pops up. Pull it straight out. And then there's two more nubs below. And this one's a little harder to get out. But you gotta pull it straight out. There we go. Old memory's out. Hey, get out of here. Kitty can't do memory upgrades. No, Kitty. All right, and then you can, you can see the little 
there's a little mark on it, like a little notch. And you line that notch up with the, the notch you see in the computer. And you push it straight in and then push it straight down. And repeat. Line the notch up. Of course, you have to put the bottom memory in first. Push straight down. And memory is upgraded to 8 gigabytes at like a third or less of the cost of upgrading it on the Apple site. And then we've got to put the case back on. Top. And remember that the long screws go in the back. Three holes right here. Just remember where the long screws go. That's important. And I'll do super fast mode. Ah! Assembled, still like new, and now when I boot it up, it's not going to do anything because I need an OS. But it's trying to power on, it's just not going to do anything. So, next step would be to install the OS, and I'll be good to go. Hey, holy cow, how is it doing this? Well, hold on. I guess just, that's just like the uh, the post or BIOS in a PC, but it's not going to find an OS. There's definitely not pre-installed OS X on a hard drive that you get from Amazon. But it powers on. I just need to install the OS, like I already said. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to enjoy my new MacBook Pro 13-inch. You know, see, so it gives you a question mark. Question mark, where's my OS at, motherfucker? Question mark, where's my OS at, motherfucker? Question mark, where's my OS at, motherfucker? Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and this is only a test. Old MacBook on the right, new MacBook Pro on the left. Starting MacBook. Starting MacBook Pro. One, two, three, go. And I'm laying on my bed. That is my headboard, and this is just a speed test. Hopefully, the new MacBook Pro works faster. We'll see. We'll see how much faster it works. Ooh, that is start that starts up fast. That's really nice. Oh look at me. I'm already on the internet. I'm already browsing the internet while you're still booting up. Oh, what is wrong with you? What is wrong <laughs> with you? Let me go to Facebook and I can do all kinds of things while you're waiting to boot up. So yeah, the new MacBook Pro is blazingly fast has backlit keyboard no macbook key backlit keyboard on the macbook and the ssd and the eight gigabytes of ram oh hi welcome to the party so glad you could join us we're already done doing what we had to do on the computer while you were taking so long to boot up you slow slow computer so no you cannot have my old macbook I'm going to sell it on Craigslist and try to get, recoup some of the cost of buying a new one. But so far, so good. Um, I will say that when I first installed the SSD and installed the OS, I was having some issues. I'd like go to boot it up and it'd just be on a gray screen and it would not do anything. <laughs> I installed all the updates and everything, like an EFI update, which is like a BIOS. And then I went into, uh, like, booted into the repair options and did a, a check on the disk and found some permissions errors and I repaired them all. And it seems to be doing okay now. So, hopefully, it'll keep doing okay. I just need to install some applications and stuff on there. 
and I'll be good to go. But I just wanted to show you guys, and I'm liking it. And I'm also going to be showing you more of my computer build too, but I'm not completely done with that yet. So when I get completely done, I mean, I've been running it, and all my latest videos have all been made on it, but I just haven't got it to where I'm happy and want to show it yet. So very soon. All right, well, that's all I have. And I'm in my bed with my computers because they're sexy. And I'm not going to show you myself because I'm not fully clothed. All right, talk to you later. Goodbye.